So you're at school, you want to have a look at a web page. So you're looking at the web page, that web page is actually hosted on a web server somewhere else in the world. So that page is on that server. To connect to it, we go through the internet. But in order to connect to the internet, we need an internet service provider. You've probably heard of these as ISPs. You'll have one at home, we use one here. And their web server will use one as well. Ours is CathEdNet. But that web page you're looking at is on a computer. That computer on our network connects to a server here called a proxy server at our college. So on our college network we have a proxy server which is the only thing on the web. That connects to a router which connects you through to our internet service provider via tel. The proxy server is the only computer on the internet. You need to put your username and password to be able to be on the internet yourself. Now at school we also have a wireless network. Now the wireless access points connect to the proxy server also. So you must put your username and password in to get onto the network on a wireless device. But the wireless device itself needs a special password so it's allowed to connect to the wireless. You don't see it, it's automatically put in for you. So, on your mobile device, be your laptop, you want to go to the World Wide Web. Or it's on your iPad, you want to go to the World Wide Web. Because the only computer that connects to the internet is the proxy server, you have to enter your username and password to lay it to that web page. Now your device, laptop, iPad, whatever, must also have a password put into it so the wireless access point allows it to talk. Now, the problem is with apps. Now apps often want to also talk to things on the internet. So for example, if we were to look at the iTunes app, or the iStore, that's on an Apple server and they want you to put your username and password in and that's nothing to do with us, that's got to do with their system. Same with Pearson's, Hot Maths, um, Cool Maths, or any of the other websites that really need you to log in, like banking or Hotmail. So your app wants to connect. So your app tries to connect to the internet, gets to the proxy server, and it doesn't know how to put a password or username in, because whoever made the app hasn't written that part into the app. Now Apple has, that is why the iTunes Store works at school, but then other apps do not. So we've got a problem. What we need to do is add transparent proxy. A transparent proxy doesn't require a password or username. It simply has a list of devices which is allowed to go onto the network. And as with the iPads and the MacBooks, everyone has their own machine. That means we know you're allowed on because your machine's on. So no passwords are required, it just says, hey, this is a device that's allowed on my network, I'll pass it through transparently. This will allow the apps to go straight through to the ISP. The ISP will still filter the CathEdNet like they do now, so any apps that go to the wrong type of websites it won't get through. But before we can implement this and make sure it works, we have to be absolutely sure that over the next few weeks, everyone is using your iPad properly and not doing anything they shouldn't do.